What makes a learning resource successful? It can be many things. Uh, it can be pedagogical aspects, technical aspects, but most importantly, it's the reusability in a new educational context. Uh, the one that the learning resource was not necessarily intended for in the first place. What can we learn from teachers? Every time I get a chance to talk with teachers, I'm fascinated to hear what they've done with the digital resources in their classroom. Uh, there are always new pedagogical ways of using resources with pupils. And since teaching usually takes place in schools, we are thinking of using tags to spread these good ideas among other teachers. And what is cool about tags is that there's no rules on how they could be used. So we're just waiting for teachers to come up with new ways that we can share not only the resources through tags, but also those good pedagogical ideas that they have. We have identified resources that travel well. Can you explain this concept? Can you give us an example, perhaps? Travel well is related to the reuse of resources in a new linguistic or country context. Travel well resources are the ones that cross borders easily. Those borders can be country borders or language borders. Uh, let's, take, uh, let's look at an example here. Here's a resource that was developed in Estonia, but we can see through this uh, diagram that it is actually used by teachers from Finland, Belgium, Hungary, and so on. In this case, the resource is in English, so it's somewhat easier for teachers and the learners to use it. In some cases, we find resources, though, that are used by teachers from different countries, and they are not in English. That's when things become interesting. For example, this resource was found useful by some teachers uh, in, uh, in Belgium, and although the resource is in Polish, they were still able to come up, come up with some very interesting pedagogical ideas of how to use this resource in their teaching. Thank you very much.